so I'll, I'll get on to my question. Uh, so what is the best way you can describe to us the Valmalenko value phenomenon? The best way is what one word that I created and I'm uh, pursuing as my personal theory that I believe uh, summarizes what's happening there. And it's uh, exo integration. Exo integration, uh, in my view, is that uh, condition by which we have a human community integrated or interacting with a non human community or non-human beings. We can call it colony, we can call it visitors, something that it's alien to that community. Alien in this case means not only from another region or another area of the world. It means literally from another world. That could be a dimension, that could be a physical world within our galaxy, we, we don't know. But definitely exo-integration, it's a when a community is integrating with something else coming from far away, from far away from all standpoints, from a social point, from economical, from a psychological, from material, for any type of viewpoints that you can think of, it's totally alien. And there is an integration. So the Valmalenko area uh, since at least 2009, we know that the first recording of the local authorities about unexplained phenomena and aerial phenomena, phenomena on the ground, uh, dates back to 2009, where the first reports, photographs and pictures were taken, uh, audio was recording and so forth. But the peak of the phenomena uh, appeared to have occurred around 2015, 2000. 14, some, like a couple of years before we were called up into action. We were called up by a local resident uh, who uh, first uh, wrote us an email uh, informing us about the situation there, asking us if we knew anything about the Valmalenko. And we said, no, honestly, we never heard about it. And she went on to explain. She gave us some uh, articles from newspapers. So she gave us some links. There was at the time a blogger who... Uh, from from Turin, another industrial city next to Milan, who had collected some of the pictures and, and was carrying on the blog trying to, to report, at least to keep people informed about that. So we uh, collected this information and we decided to finally prepare a, a field investigation there for the following year. So it was 2016. Valmalenko Valley phenomena are so very and so extreme and so complicated that if uh, we only look at the pictures and we hope to understand uh, the phenomena by looking at the picture, that's the mistake that many of the Italian research groups have done so far. They try, they, they go there with technology, they go there with infrared devices, they go there with drones, uh, and they, they hope they can take the picture of the century and to prove that the picture is true and then uh, they conquer the world. But for us, our approach is a little bit different. If we want to understand why such uh, a particular condition is there in that valley, I think we need to work more on the people than on the pictures. True, that's totally true, Diego. I totally agree with you. It's more important to work on the situation rather than just focus okay let's get a photo and then we'll get it out in the public in the universe in the world and get the so-called media i mean it's just a very selfish way of doing it rather than having a coexistence of the species on planet earth